boat, right? Just uh, thank you for coming tonight. This is a wonderful weather, by the way. <laughs> that, that's good. But thank you for coming here. We have some full cool house today. That's very good. And then I just uh, do a little bit uh, before, just a warm up, uh, you know, kind of festival fast. And then uh, just at uh, the uh, beginning of that, thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. And uh, all sponsors, all Very 
Um, well, it's say, say the, the performance from the Japanese region, Okinawa. It was just last year that we started Japan Haru, which is Japan Australian Exchange and Collaboration Festival. Last year, for the end of the year, it was in Sydney's Temple, where the great performance of Japanese traditional arts and music, and this is due, the, the joint performance as well. And this year, another great location here in the great hall of the University of Sydney. We are going to enjoy the performance of Okinawa. Well, everyone wants to come over to Japan now. I, I'm very glad to see the gradual reopening of the border with Japan. So again, at, on the 20, on, <coughs> at, the, at the end of last month, Prime Minister Kishida announced that they, there will be no COVID uh, PCR test required to come into Japan for those who are triple vaccinated. And just a few days ago, another announcement was made that, that not only an accompanied package tours, but also an accompanied package tours allowed. And the Prime Minister said that, that Japan is relaxing its borders uh, so that the restriction will be in line with uh, other different countries. So that is Prime Minister's commitment. So I'm hoping that at the earliest of the you all can come over to Japan on individual tours. At the moment, we've got plenty of Australians coming over to our consulate general to get a visa. I hope that we'll be moved soon so that we can all enjoy Japan. So today's topic theme is Okinawa, with one of the oldest traditions in the same culture. So we are hoping that you enjoy not only the major route of Tokyo, Kyoto, Hiroshima, but every part of Japan where you can enjoy Japan. And I hope that you, before going there, you can enjoy full part of Japan's well, culture and the food and other attractions here in Sydney. Well, in the, in the next well, week, for the end of uh, Sunday next week, we're going to have a variety of events. Japan Ari, here in Sydney and beyond. So please enjoy today's performance and enjoy other events here in Sydney. Thank you very much. Welcome to the 2022 Okinawa Festival. My name is Joel Wilkinson and I will be your MC for the remainder of this evening. The show has two parts to it that run for about 45 minutes each and there will be a 10 minute interval in between. If you require a bathroom during this time, uh, please find the restrooms through the door on the left for the ladies and proceed further around to the right for the men's. Uh, in the unlikely event of an emergency, your exits are at the back, the side, and the front again. I'd like to remind you all to please check that your phones are on silent, and uh, we would really appreciate it if you could avoid flash photography. However, there is a very important rule. Recording videos and taking photos is strongly encouraged. <laughs> Feel free to take as many uh, pictures and videos as you like and please share them. Um, we'd like you to spread your love for Okinawan dance and music as, as far as you can. Uh, without further ado, enjoy. Okinawa, formerly named the Ryukyu Kingdom, is known for its subtropical climate, stunning sunsets, and diverse ecosystem of beautiful coral reefs, lush forests, azure waters, and rich culture. The Ryukyu Kingdom was a monarch-based island nation established around 590 years ago. The kingdom continued for 400 years, 19 generations of kings, and in peace without need of an army. During the Great Trade Era of the Ryukyu Kingdom, they imported not only goods from neighboring countries, but also things such as Buddhism, music, martial arts, and the art of distilling alcoholic beverages. 
Throughout this period of prosperous and peaceful interaction with foreign nations, Okinawa's culture and traditions came into their own and survived the passage of time. After the peaceful period of the Ryukyu Kingdom, this tiny island suffered during World War II and beyond. But Okinawans kept their hope and adapted to this change in the most positive ways. Yuimaru is a common Okinawan saying that means a warm-hearted and friendly spirit of cooperation. Optimism is an inborn trait of Okinawan people, and combined with their gentle nature, the land recovered and flourished as a sacred island that attracts people from all over the world. Nature and ancestor worship are an important component of Okinawan religion. This form of worship is woven into everyday life and is also evident in Okinawan music, dance, and even in world-renowned Okinawan karate. This year is the 50th year celebration of Okinawa's handover and return from the United States to Japan. Through our dance and music tonight, we would like to commemorate this monumental year as Okinawans, to express our strength that brought us through a global pandemic, and to celebrate a new world that is filled with love and peace. <laughs> May the spirit of Okinawa touch your soul and open your heart.
In Okinawa, there has existed from the past a view of the world that there is a utopia beyond the sea called Nirai Kanai, from where gods bring a good harvest and happiness. Also, Okinawans believe that worshipping ancestors leads to continued peace and prosperity through traditional ceremonies in which descendants gather to respect their ancestors. As various events become modernized with the changing times, we can still see the rich culture that is typical of Okinawa in traditional rituals that the villagers faithfully carry on. Obon, known as a time of welcoming the spirits of ancestors back, is called Kyubon in Okinawa. Kyu in Japanese means old ways. Okinawans still celebrate according to the lunar calendar, which is why it's called Kyubon. Michijune is a street Asa dance performed by young villagers during Kyubon. It is said that Michijune started around 400 to 500 years ago. What makes this dance so popular is that every village has their own dance which has been passed down from generation to generation. This is why visiting from village to village to watch their unique Michijune is one of the popular summer festivities for Okinawans and tourists alike. Obon celebrations last for three days. Michijune takes place on the last day as a farewell to the ancestors. In Michijune, it is common to see a clown called Chondara as a part of the performances in the street. Chondara gets up to mischief in an attempt to distract the focus of Asa dancers and to make the audience laugh. Today we are presenting you with the first Michijune in Australia and we will also be graced with a Chondara couple for you to see. I'd like you to imagine that you are a villager who has travelled to witness and join in the spirit of Michijune. You are amongst the villagers in the streets of an Okinawan village. It's a hot, humid summer evening with a gentle sea breeze. The sounds of Sanshin and Taiko are gradually approaching and getting louder and louder. You feel the excitement in the air.
Although those of third generation Japanese Peruvian born in Peru, he learned how to play guitar at the age of 11 and won the Rookie of the Year Award at the Japanese American Soul Contest at the age of only 14. He went to Japan in 1987 after winning the Latin American Soul Contest, and in 1991 he formed the Latin rock band Diamantes. In 1993, Alberto made his major label debut in his album, Okinawa Latina, for which he wrote the lyrics, composed, and sang by himself. The band has had numerous hits, including Gambate Ondo, Victory Song, and Katata Ni Sanshin Wo, and has performed live concerts throughout Japan. In 2021, Diamantes has celebrated its 30th anniversary and released a new album, Paso a Paso, for the first time in six years. He has collaborated with Kazukumi Miyazawa from The Boom, Tsubasa Makoto, Akira Nakamori, Noriko Kato, Gloria Oshio, Shiori, Mongo Hatiaku, Kaori Fudema, and many others. Today, he will perform Okinawa Miyamo, Shiori Onuka, and Katate Nisan Shinwo. Please welcome Alberto Shion. Buenas noches. Uh, my name is Alberto. I came from uh, Peru first, now from Okinawa. And I want to dedicate the first song for all of you. Uh, it's uh, my own country song. Maybe you know this song. It's El Condor Pasta.
South America in Japan who try to uh, make friends with Saku. Thank you. 
is a uh, is mixing. <laughs> um, it's a it's a song about peace. Peace, you know. Uh, uh, we are today um, in a very special meeting because we are in peace, and uh, uh, and the World War II. Uh, it's only Okinawa, uh, the place it has uh, a ground battle, you know? So uh, Okinawa people uh, always talk about peace and love peace. Uh, the last song is uh, about the sanction. It's the Okinawa instrument. It's a very symbolic sanction. When my grandparents leave Japan, leave Okinawa, they take their own sanction to South America. So this instrument is always with Okinawa people. So please listen con el kata, con el sanshin en la mano. Katateni sanshin. Se no.
道ならしい。試験に受かって。
our next performer is also from Okinawa, Neon Kame. Neon is a young, aspiring Sanshin performer. She obtained a Sanshin Master License at the Noro School Preservation Association in 2020. She has experience performing overseas, including New Year's Eve Vancouver and the Powell Street Festival in Canada. Some of you may remember Neon and her performance in 2019, where she performed for the Japan Spectacular at the Sydney Opera House. The first song she will perform tonight is a classical Okinawan piece called Kaya, and it consists of three different segments, Nakarata Bushi, Karaya Bushi, and Shongale Bushi. This is a love song about a woman who is taken from her lover and forced to marry a tile maker. The song depicts her longing desire to see her true love.
Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Neil. We are blessed tonight to have two more songs with Neil. Uh, the second song is called Tinsagun. It is a very popular song in Okinawa. The lyrics about this are about respecting your parents and it's taught to school-aged children to learn these principles for a good life. Neon has translated this song into English. And today you can hear both the Okinawan and English versions. Neon will also be collaborating with the pianist Izumi Nago for this one. And our uh, third song uh, with Neon this evening is called Warabigami. Sanshin player Kumiko Ho from Sydney will join for a duet and Izumi will be playing along on piano. Thank you. So please welcome uh, the pianist uh, Izumi-san.
playing Warabigami, uh, Okinawa Lullaby, uh, together with Kumiko. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, this will be the last song, so please enjoy. Thank you very much.
yourselves and hold on to your seats because from here we're going to have a series of uplifting and energetic ASA performances. First, we will have the flag dance from students of Wong's Karate Dojo, followed by Miruku Munari and Shinka Nucha. Miruku Munari was first released in 1993 and became one of the most commonly danced songs with ASA. Miruku means God or Bodhisattva, and this song is about worshipping and giving thanks to the gods of the harvest. Shinka Ucha in Okinawan means friends and family. This dance celebrates the fond memories of island life, singing, dancing, and playing together. So please prepare yourself because this is going to be a big change. Thank <laughs> Thank you. 
the last part of the show. The first is a big collaboration dance between the Acer teams, Karate and cheerleading. The second part is the Kachashi Shi dance, which is usually performed as a closing dance for festivals and special events in Okinawa. Okinawan people finish their wedding because they're still Everybody dances together to celebrate the good times that have been shared and we are going to teach you some simple hand movements if you would like to join in with this dance. Hajime-san, ご来場の皆様、こんばんは。残すところあと2円目となりました。最後は皆さんと一緒に踊ったり5000円で参加していただきたいと思います。We are going to to join our dancing and clap your hands or yelling. So, まずは練習してみましょう。Let's practice first clap your hands and yelling. When I say Ari, you say Kampa. Ari? No, more louder, come on. Ari, Kampa, Ari, Kampa, Ari. And clap your hands, please. Kachashi means to mix in Okinawa language. It was named by this hand motion. Uh, that is similar to mix. That's why we call it Kachashi. So there are three styles of Kachashi. The first one is to move your hands like waves softly. Does it start? I like waves softly and so move right left right left Like lock. 
and dance bravery, like karate. Ready?
Чирова. Бьон Каме. Sydney Asia Chambru and Perth Asia Tina. Our beautiful Yubu dancers, Raina Toma and Akiko Hawkins. Our wonderful Chondara Kapo, Tai Hei and Yasuo.
life is a treasure. It's, uh, I appreciate the miracle of being able to spend this moment with everyone. Until we meet again. Thank you so much. Yo, don't.